Hello guys, this is Banches, and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. So sit back and relax and enjoy this episode. If you guys enjoy this episode, you know, smash that like button and please subscribe down below. And if you guys are new to my channel, welcome. This is um my little playthrough of City Skylines. And we have built out a pretty uh pretty good sized city here. Um, if you have been following the series, thank you. And welcome back to another episode. Today, we will definitely be getting into uh, some uh, interesting buildings, but it will be it will be definitely a good episode. So in our previous episode, we worked on some traffic management, uh, just trying to really clear up all of the areas in our city that were really congested, um, and just put in a bunch of these pathways for pedestrians to let them uh, basically walk easier without slowing down our traffic. So yeah, we went ahead and did that. This took a while to do everything. It's not perfect. Our major city has pretty good traffic flow overall. Um, and then we also finished the episode by basically building this, um, it's like a soccer uh, facility. So yeah, we went ahead and we placed this in here. There's been a few events that have gone on. Uh, I believe the team is one and one, and then there's been a few uh, events that have been canceled. But yeah, this was kind of what we finished in the previous episode. And if you didn't stick around to the end of the last episode, um, I know there was some audio issues, and um, I'm sorry for that. Just wanted to apologize to you guys, and we'll try to uh, make sure that that does not happen again. So yeah, in today's episode... We are basically moving away from the major city, and we're heading back over to where we originally started, in the little suburb area. Um, this is kind of the area where all the major traffic issues are still. But what we'll be doing today is we're going to be going into some different industries. Um, our, right now, zoning demand for industry is super, super high. And I kind of wanted to go in and show you guys some of these unique um, factories and kind of show you how they work and build out the facilities for them. You need kind of to upgrade all of these other industries so like the forest uh the farming mining and then also uh, the oil industries and once you upgrade kind of all those areas which i've done those areas back out here you unlock the ability to basically upgrade um to these higher end production facilities which involves multiple different materials from these uh facilities that you built out and yeah it's pretty cool you can uh, make some good products with it for example this was just one of the tests that i uh did so right now homemade uh or household plastic factory so i put this out here and basically what this is doing this is producing a bunch of goods so this is how much it costs in materials this is the output that it's doing each uh week which is pretty good uh we have petroleum from our facilities and then we also are getting plastic from our uh, facilities also. The way that I was able to make this work was I had to put warehouse yards next to them and basically put in what type of um, materials that I want to be placed in these facilities. And doing that then basically keeps some of the materials inside of our city. So say like the oil uh, facilities aren't selling all of them outside of our city. And then it will allow us to basically go ahead and start producing some of these products. So that's what we're going to be working on today. We're kind of just going to be expanding out this area in here, probably adding another freight area in and then connecting this up to the highway. Um, I'm hoping that will alleviate some of the traffic that we have um, in, say, these kind of areas over here. So let's go ahead and start looking through these facilities. Okay, guys. So the first thing we are going to start with is the first uh, and probably simplest unique facility to start with so it's a furniture factory so it's kind of like every other facility we are going to just place this probably right in here yeah we'll do that i'm trying to think because i want to make sure these take up as much room as possible um and not just yeah we know what we're gonna do we're gonna place this right here and then this facility what does this need so it needs the timbers and we need paper for it so to make sure that this facility will get those materials. Um, and I know a few other facilities that we will build is going to need those type of materials too. We are going to go into now the warehousing area. And we are going to buy... Let's see, how large are these large warehouses? 
They're pretty damn big. How about a medium? Okay. So a medium-sized one would fit pretty well right here. Alright, so we're going to take this medium-sized facility. And we are going to place... Let's see what we can do in here. So we have a bunch of different options. Paper is one of the options that we needed. And let's see, do they have any of the wood that we needed or the timber? Alright, so they do have the timber also. So we are going to do first the timber. So timber will be basically collected into this area. Let's see. Now if we go back into this again warehouse. And we're going to now need to place another option. So let's go here. We're going to have to place a second one of this. And we're going to do now the opposite and do paper. So now these two facilities here will gather those resources. And then this facility here will go and get the resources from these warehouses. And basically allow uh, to produce these kind of products. Because... Um, Basically, they'll go for the shortest route, which will be these facilities once they are up and running and getting all those materials in there. So let's speed this up. And once these are actually producing back and forth, I will get back to you guys and show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, guys, so I am back and these facilities are operating fully right now. So you can see right now this is the production value that's coming out. This is the cost of materials that are going in. Uh, we have full amount of timber and also the full amount of paper we can adjust this production rate up and down here to basically increase how much we want to produce of these products um but yeah currently this has enough products in here so it's not going anywhere but these facilities are also starting to fill up with materials and you can see looking at the tracking route of where they're going from they are all coming from over in this direction where our uh, wood production is coming uh, and this will be the same with here coming from over here because we have our paper mills over here so yeah this is definitely um working in the way i was wanting it to go so now let's see what's the next facility we can build here so we have an industrial steel plant that we could make now these are going to be a lot bigger as you can see already this is a pretty huge facility um and this is definitely going to have to be an area that we're going to consider okay like where are we going to put something this big so let's hold off on this for right now. We have a furniture factory going on right here. I believe there might be a house, a uh, housing uh, factory that we could put over here. Kind of keep more the, all right, so we have some, looks like soft paper. Let's see, where is this? There's food. Where is this? It's... All right, so let's see, how big is this factory? This factory is huge also. Okay. So that's not where I want that to go. Let's see. What is this? This is a shipyard. Okay. That can't go in yet either. Alright, so we could put a food factory, it looks like, next. Let's, um... Yeah, let's place this in here. And now this, I feel like, is going to need a decent amount of materials. So yes, we definitely need a good amount of materials for this one. So let's get some warehouses placed out here and continue this uh, process. Okay, guys, so I am back once again. And you can see now, finally, the food factory is filled with enough product to start producing. Uh, you can see what the material cost is and what's the actual output of the value here for the food factory. Uh, so obviously, that's a pretty good profit that this facility will make um, and that's definitely nice to see this is still of course working um, as I said earlier and these are all filling up still they're going to take a while to fill but you know uh, I could probably if I wanted to just take this off of balance and put it to fill and once I do that it, the storages would just start filling up with the food um, or whatever product I tell it to fill with uh, I'm just keeping it for balance for right now because it's balancing between what all the facilities here are demanding. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and start placing some more um, of these types of assets in here. And I'll show you guys um, kind of how it, it gets built out and then uh, what are the ending profits for a lot of these facilities. Okay, guys, so I am back. I've laid out now all of the uh, basically unique manufacturing facilities. 
Um, it's it's going pretty well right now. They are definitely mostly all producing, um, and they're all producing actually I'd say a good amount of money overall. Um, you know, some of them are not just because they are missing some materials, but overall they're good. Like this one's killing it right now, the sneaker factory. Um, but yeah. This is definitely what we're going for. We have added some more rail yards in here. So we have this rail yard here, which is allowing basically trains to drop off, um, you know, products and goods, while also uh, vehicles can come in here and drop off uh, goods to be shipped out. Then we also have another distribution center that we've placed in here that the train can come along and drop off goods and allow us to distribute more goods to uh, these facilities. Basically now, since most of these facilities are in now it's kind of more or less just trying to make this look nice um and that's basically what i'm just going to do right now is just go ahead and kind of decorate this more and make it a uh, make it look a little bit nicer than what it currently is so let's get to that and see how uh this ends up looking okay guys i am back now i've kind of just went ahead and decorated up a little bit of this and made this kind of a little bit more into a yard looking area uh with just some offshoots or trains to like go in and you know basically unload packages um or just to rearrange cars uh obviously this is a full functioning uh depot here and this is a full functioning depot so trains do come into these areas they also do come along this main rail line here and go all the way up to the city so there are a bunch of options that you know we can see and it looks like everything's catching on fire oh no well, that's definitely not good. I know they say not to put stuff too close to rail lines because, like, the vegetation will catch on fire. But, oh well. That's, uh, that's one way to go about it, I guess. All right. That will eventually, uh, hopefully sort itself out. And hopefully the fire fires will come and take care of this without burning down everything that I just built. <laughs> but, whatever. That's uh, that for now. So today, to finish up the episode, I want to actually go over here to the mining area, and I want to redo um, a lot of this, just because I don't think this is set up very, uh, I don't know, it just doesn't look realistic one the way it's set up, and it just kind of looks like it's been thrown more together. So what I want to do is kind of take these assets and rearrange them in a little bit of a different way. I'm probably going to move them back here to this mountain area, um, because in real life, you know, you're going to have a mine, it's going to be mostly near either a mountain, you're going to be pouring into a mountain, or you'll be tunneling down, um, trying to make like a, a mine shaft. So what I'm going to do is kind of make this as like they're cutting out a portion here of the mountain, and we're going to build, um, build that. Yeah, so I'm going to take a lot of these assets and we're going to start rearranging some of this and, uh, seeing how this all turns out really. But, um, yeah, I guess on a different note, you know, if you guys are enjoying this, uh, you know, little episode here. If you guys want to go down below and uh, like and then subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet, I would really, really appreciate that. And I, you know, it just goes a long way uh, with the content and it just shows, you know, that what I'm doing, it's uh, it's going, going well and you guys are really uh, enjoying it. So let's see here. So we got to lower the terrain down. So let's see here. Where are we going to take a piece from? Let's say... That's pretty high up. So let's take from right about here. And we're going to make this brush size smaller. And just start here. See how this looks. Okay. Yeah, it's not going to be quick doing it that way. So let's make this a little bigger. Start hollowing out parts of this. Okay, so this is the platform that we are going to use to transfer over all the assets. So let's um, start moving some of these. We're going to pause this right now we're gonna start with these big looking shovels and we're basically gonna have them looking like they're cutting into the mountainside so we're gonna put this one probably place this guy right about here so he'll be like look like he's boring into that now we're gonna take the other one put this over here too twist that around Okay, let's take this over.
Okay. Let's take all these trees out. It's gonna take a little bit. Once all the trees are out, I'll be back with you guys. Okay, guys, so we have deleted all the rocks out of this area. And we're just gonna start placing some more of these assets in here. Trying to make this look as interesting as possible. Let's go back to what we have over here now. I'm also gonna check to see, is this, okay, there's a large, yep, okay. So we are gonna take this. This is kinda looks like you're gonna start boring underground with these. Yeah, cause these are large tunnel entrances. All right, so we're taking this, we're gonna put this up here. Okay guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and start placing some more of these assets in here. Once more of them are placed, I'll come back to you guys and show you what I've done. Okay guys, so this is coming along pretty well. We've hooked up kind of all the mining operations up here. And we're just kind of now working on the storage placement down here for all the coal, uh, ore, and anything else that comes out. And then this should all be then eventually trucked over to these areas where over here we're going to have all the actual like manufacturing and smelting of all the ore. Um, I think this will be a nicer breakdown and look way better than what we had previously for our mining operations. So you guys will have to let me know what you think of this in the comments below. Um, you know, just be brutally honest with me. Give me your honest opinion. I'd, I like to hear what you guys think. Um, and, you know, we can uh, go from there deciding whether if we want to, you know, change it up a little bit or keep it how it is and, you know, just uh, keep moving forward with while well, the project is basically going. But, uh, yeah, definitely it is coming along pretty, pretty well. And I definitely like this currently layout of everything kind of with all the storage uh, and how all the operations and stuff are coming along for this mine um, i definitely think this will be i think it'll be better than what we uh definitely had before i guess uh, another topic that i wanted to talk to you guys about is the new uh announcement about the release of um the new city skylines the expansion dlc um it's called uh, City Skylines Campus. And I was just wanting to hear from some of you guys what you guys are thinking about the uh, new DLC, DLC, whether you guys think it's worth buying. Um, you know, I'm thinking about getting it and I'm thinking about doing a uh, kind of an episode where we redo our uh, college campus that we've built like in one of the early, early episodes. Um, you know, you guys will just have to let me know what you guys think about that. And if you think we should rebuild um, our city campus and kind of, you know, take a look at how the new uh, DLCs are looking and how they are going to work um, with what we have currently. So, yeah, just leave a comment below um, on what you guys think about that. And, you know, I'll get back to you guys. I'll comment back and let you guys uh, get in on the conversation also. So, yeah, I think it'll definitely be a, a good conversation to have with how everything is coming along right now with the DLCs and stuff. But, um, yeah. I'm just gonna, uh, keep going ahead and finishing this kind of up. Um, once I get these all laid in here, and before we start running it, I'll get back to you guys. Okay, guys, so I have finished up this mining operation, and this is kind of the finished product of what it came out as. Um, I think it turned out actually really, really good. I'm really happy with how this product is. Um... You know, there's a bunch of different mine entrances in here. Then there's a bunch of different other assets that are still in this area that all kind of work together with the structure. It definitely looks like a tier level mine. Like they're basically mining or quarrying out the side here of the mountain. So I definitely think this looks really, really cool. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys think, you know, in the comments below. And, you know, tell me what you guys think overall. Um, this is definitely going to start filling up with a bunch of uh, product. And then basically what's going to happen, all of this uh, storage will eventually be shipped over to this area, which this used to have where all the um, mining equipment was. But now what we have over here is just all the actual refining process of the material. And then once all this goes through basically a uh, refining process from here, then it will be shipped all the way down to what we created earlier today um, in this episode which is this area over here with all the industry um, and the rail lines we have here with all the shipping potential and all that good stuff. So yeah, you know, I think 
for today's episode we're gonna leave this here we uh we've definitely came a long way and definitely did a good amount for today this took me probably about three to four hours to make just with all the detail and everything that went into it so yeah just leave a comment below like um and subscribe to my channel if you guys did enjoy you know this kind of build um if you guys want to see more actually of the details of me building the actual um assets let me know in the comments i kind of do more like a brief over of the build so you guys aren't like kind of just always watching me build uh things slowly uh, i kind of like to show you guys the steps of the project as i go along if you guys like that idea just like you know showing the steps just let me know in the comments so i can keep doing it the way that i have been doing it but um yeah so i think for today's episode we're gonna call it here guys um i hope you guys really all enjoyed this episode and if you are new to my channel uh you know please like and please subscribe also down below and if you are coming back for another episode thank you for coming and i really appreciate your guys support so on that note guys i'm gonna end this one here remember my name is banches and i will see you guys in the next video see you guys later